Welcome to City with your Mommy. My name is Sasha and I'm a mom of two living and working in Jamaica. Here on this channel, we'll talk about mommy stuff and lifestyle stuff. So stick around and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. It's COVID time, as we like to say. And I'm sure that you have been to the supermarket more times than you've ever been in your life. And why is that? because we're panicking we're panic buying we're buying off the bread off the shelf we're buying the, we're buying toilet paper we're fighting in price mark for the toilet paper i have a few points first thing i think you should do is to make a list if you make a list then you know exactly what you're going to buy the sweetie them and the soda with that the side of the cashier can't trick you because you have your blinders on and you know exactly what you're going to the grocery store how many times have you been to the grocery store and you say oh i just go and pick up a carton of milk oh i just go and pick up a bag of bread <laughs> you come back with a trolley full of things in order to make a list successfully or to make sure that you have everything that you need on that list you need to check your fridge you need to check your fridge you need to check your cupboards you need to check your pantry anywhere that you keep your food under your bed wherever it is you need to check that because how are you going to know what to buy if you don't know what you don't have make sense all right this one i'm sure that we've tried many times and failed at but it is to have a budget have a budget make and stick to it try I have seen people when they're going to um, to cash they go um, cash here I only have five thousand dollars a year or if um, if it is a case where you can actually see the the we call it the um, cash register then they're like okay put this no, 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 don't cash this yet. Let's put this here. So make a budget and try to stick to it. However, whatever method it is, whether you tell the cashier that, you know, please let me know when you're hitting a certain figure, or you can actually just bring that exact cash. So that forces you to say, hey, this is all I have and this is all I'm spending. Another point is to determine where you're actually going to shop. Now, your needs will determine a lot of that. If you are someone who would prefer fresh fruit and vegetables, then you'll go down a curl and shop. If you're someone who enjoys going to the supermarket, like myself, then you go to the supermarket. If you're someone who likes to host it and no man ball out your order through a grill and whatever, whatever you get is what you get, then you'd go to the wholesale. So determine where it is that you're going to shop. A lot of these supermarkets have loyalty, um, rewards for you know being a, a frequent shopper where you can sign up and get some points back um which i'm a fan of i subscribe to that plan your meals for the week or for the month you ever buy groceries for let's say you're shopping for the week you ever buy groceries and buy sunday them done yeah because we see the food we eat the food so if you determine what you're going to cook let's say you're going to say all right i have five snacks i'm only going to eat one one snack a day i have five drinks i'm only gonna eat one drink a, i'm only gonna drink one drink a day because you have to just like how you budget your money you have to budget out, the, budget out the food too all right this is one of my favorites freeze what can be frozen i would have never thought that i would have freeze bread but you can freeze bread I promise you, it's not going to come out tough and taste like cardboard and barky barky. It is going to be fine. You will be fine. I promise you. If you, let's say you buy two breads because your family eats a lot of bread or you eat a lot of bread. You're just a bread lover. You buy two breads. We can keep one out. And when the bread is probably like the last few slices, you can take that, you can take the bread out of the freezer and put it outside overnight for it to, I don't want to say thaw because it's only like, like meat, but for it to defrost. <laughs> um, another, another thing that you can freeze that I do is scallion. You can actually cut up your scallion and put it in a Ziploc bag, freeze it. When you're ready to cook, shake that stuff out and you could. Not everything can be frozen 
because not everything keeps its, its integrity frozen but freeze what you can and this one I think is very 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 important it's check your receipt check your receipt go through each and every line item you picked it up you bought it you wanted it because that's why you bought it so look through every item this way you know how much you spent obviously because there's a total and two, you know what exactly what things cost especially if you're if you go to a supermarket that gives you a discount if you buy three or more items obviously it goes up um obviously it would be at a lower price and i think these i think this supermarket actually shows you what the discount is and if it's a supermarket that has a point system then you actually can see how much points you are at and don't check your receipt next week right because you know these things go these they fade so go through your receipt if you if you find something wrong on your receipt you can actually go to the go to the supermarket the following day right so check your receipt it's very important you need to know where you spend your money upon and then this is a good sometimes i keep these as my grocery list too okay so those are my six tips in how to grocery shop during a pandemic and thank you so much for sticking with me be on the lookout for more videos rate comment share and most importantly subscribe <laughs>